to, Your sister can help to us. To King's Landing, I say. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. Ooh, I like me if Marjorie it's Tyrell. presented to her as it should be. She's a sexy lady. Look into the iron hold. What? Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. <laughs> Ethan made this for me. All my family. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. See, I don't know why she would be talking to herself. Like, I mean, if they just if they just made it so that she would, you know, speak in her brain. Father. Instead of out loud. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. <laughs> Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. About that wedding, we gotta talk about that. <clears throat> Alright, let's check around the Let's check around the room. Ooh, what do we have here? Dusty old tomb. It is dusty. <laughs> Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. Oh, that's a fucking awesome I guess from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Now, I notice how there's like this little blur effect on, on everything, right? I'm wondering if there's something I can change in the options. No? Well, I think that's just how the game's optimized on PS4, so. I wonder if uh, PC has that problem. To have that kind of weird outlook. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. <sighs> See, Ironrath seems like a pretty dour place. Just saying. Um, better for mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Hmm. See, like, look at that door. It's like, it's weird kind of pastel coloring. Let me see if there's anything else I need to take care of. Do, 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 do. <laughs> nope, I think that's it. Yes, who's at the door? One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. What? No, it's fine. Come in. What's he doing? I'm begging your pardon, my lady, but you all right? I'm putting the grapes in the bucket. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, little from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. He seems to have, like, a really mature voice for such a small kid. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. Bitch? I've seen you with her before. This is basic knowledge. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning. Outside the royal sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? 
Lannister? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? Is that why he's here? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Yeah. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. That's why you're so dirty. You're a cold boy. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. See, it all makes sense. Good night, milady. It's morning. The sun is clearly out. Damn it, cold boy! Get that coal out of your ears. Ooh, hey, girl. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Not exactly modeled after, uh... Not <laughs> the actress, but, you know, it's all right. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. Oh. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Mm -hmm. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. So she's really after She you. demands an audience. And she I'm wants just an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Oh, of course. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. All right. Well, at least I have a plan. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Receive us? Oh, God. <laughs> My body's ready. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Mm-hmm. So, Good luck. so what she's saying is walk in there with your middle fingers up like you don't give a fuck. You can do this. Hey, boys. How you doing? Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Don't destiny this up, all right? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. I am honored, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. Mm. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. 
and yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Clearly her loyalty wavers quite a lot. If she has any loyalty at all. Hmm. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served oh, the Starks. Oh, bitch! And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Yeah. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Mm -hmm. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Yeah. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Mm -hmm. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve... But she's gonna be the what queen. What would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. I serve at her pleasure. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? <laughs> the most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. You're next, Cersei. I'd like a word with You're you, on if my I list. may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. Good guy, Tyrion. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. Well, Cersei's a bold dying. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. Always back She takes great queen. pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where we can. 
She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yep. Seriously, the old lioness. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather Oh my rather god, the background. Difficult. What is going on? Oof. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, oh, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. He was. Oh. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Ah! He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Yeah, but I'd still. I'd be willing to marry. But not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have Elf. as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Ah, but he's a real dickhead. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well, Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. <laughs> the Queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. How? Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. That's some Game of Thrones shit right there. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. 
There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. <gasps> Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. I want us. you to kill Sarah. <laughs> it's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. Doesn't matter, he will be dead I will forever soon. be in your debt. My family will forever she be will in your debt. She will remember that. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else that does. pussy power! Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. I'm not even at the wall yet. Motherfucker. Oh, cool, thanks. Seven hells. Ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. Is that Ramsay? <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Lord? Shh! Listen. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. I hope it is a right decision. Never mind. Yeah. 
We've wasted enough time already. Suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a motherfucking dick, suck a dick. Shall heal this man. Such a nice, <laughs> such a nice house crest. It's great, right? Oh, bloody hell! As I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. <coughs> Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. Ethan the Dickhead. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Maester. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Calm yourself. We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. I no wish to die. Good English, please. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Yes. Take now his I will decide. With button and If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Injustice? Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Compassion! 
our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. Get the fuck out of my face. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Game of, Game of Thrones, Thrones, Game of Thrones, Thrones, Game of Thrones, Thrones, Game of Thrones, Thrones, Game of Thrones, Thrones. Game of Thrones, Thrones.